hey hello everyone welcome to knowledge India once again in this tutorial I'm going to talk about uh, system operations administrator certification which is which is one of the associates level certification from AWS now there is uh, one more tutorial which is there on the channel which explains you uh, explains you the differences between the three associate or associate level certification so you can go ahead and see that first in case you have not gone through that uh, in this particular tutorial we are going to discuss that what all do you need in order to successfully uh, successfully study and to clear the clear the sysops administrator associate exam uh, on aws now i would like to make one thing very clear at this point in time <laughs> the intention here is not just to clear the certification exam the objective of this tutorial is to of this tutorial or i would say uh, this series of tutorials is to is to set up the path so that you can you can go ahead and learn the services which are you know which form the basis of this particular certification and then then after that you should be you know you should be writing this uh, you should be writing this exam in case you are looking for a shortcut uh, there are many other websites where you can go ahead and uh, just quickly buy some course right for few dollars and uh, with that you can learn and write the write the exam but uh, i i prefer uh, i prefer that uh, that we learn the stuff and then after that we should get certified all right so that was just the you know some prerequisite which i wanted to tell you now <coughs> Uh, sysops administrator certification is ideal for those people who are, who have been doing administration either in windows linux or on network side you know uh, coming from the traditional background they they might be doing this uh, so they can transition and become sysops administrator on aws going forward also uh, 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 people who are new right so for example uh, guys who are joining right out of the college or probably doing final year of your college and you are thinking to build a career uh, in the area of cloud i think this is uh, you know this particular uh, track is really really good for you okay so <coughs> what what is the typical function of uh, of system operations administrators guys these are the set of people who actually go and deploy deploy a solution create the complete infrastructure after that continuously monitor it uh, take necessary actions wherever possible they go ahead and automate the stuff right it be, uh, it could be deployment it could be monitoring it could be another like things activities like patch management or anything else right um, so uh, these are the guys who do it uh, in and out <coughs> now <coughs> there is a difference between uh, between this particular uh, you know between the syllabus for this particular exam and other exams like architecting and all in case of sysops administrator we uh, we target on comparatively lesser number of services but but lot more in depth right so uh, as you can see here um, uh, there will be uh, we would be covering uh, all these things which you see on the slide uh, you know in in upcoming videos so uh, you will be able to find a playlist on the channel which you can go ahead and always look at i'll ensure that all the necessary uh, videos which are required for the sysops administrator exam or which are relevant to that would be part of that particular playlist okay there might it might not be uh, possible that uh, that uh, we that we bring the videos exactly in this order but whatever makes logical sense we'll try to bring it up in that manner okay so um, quickly uh, let us understand what 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 all do we need to know or what all we need, what all do we need to practice for sysops exam for the sysops exam we need to have very strong hold on the on the ec2 vpc auto scaling and elp part so if you can see that uh, you know the first three items the compute networking and scalability these uh, this is like really important this overall covers roughly 40 to 50 percent of questions come out of this area right so in our upcoming tutorials we'll we'll try to go ahead and uh, um, and do a lot of practicals around these things where we will actually play with these services and while playing we, we will learn the different aspects of that 
okay so we need to understand ec2 in detail right from creation it's uh, monitoring it's uh, maintenance what are what is meant by different attributes of the same right so there will be a detailed ec2 tutorial which uh, which would be coming up there is one which is already there on the channel you can go ahead and uh, and watch that and understand things related to ec2 ami etc to a more detailed one i'll be bringing which would cover each and every attribute of ec2 um, about vpc there is a there's a very good tutorial which i have already put on the on the channel which sets up the which sets up the base for the you know for working on vpc uh, we will try to take up a few scenarios and practice the same um, in the in the upcoming videos elp on auto scaling elastic load balancing and auto scaling now this is really important and uh, we get a lot of questions which would be scenario based around auto scaling and elp so <clears throat> in one of the upcoming tutorial we are going to set up uh, right from scratch elb and auto scaling will go through each and every aspect of the same and then uh, with that with that you should be clear about it right uh, uh, this also lines aligns uh, directly to the high availability concept where we where we'll uh, where we would be deploying elb and auto scaling across two availability zones within a region and understand that how does it work when load increases how does it scale uh, <clears throat> configuration management options now there are few things which are uh, which are given from uh, amazon site things like uh, ami user data so we have talked about user data and ami already in one of the videos uh, which is of ec2 uh, we will also talk further that at what time which one should you use what is the plus and minus of both right some aspects related to that tagging all of you know what tagging is we can go ahead and add tags to any of the services which we launch now if you go ahead and actually enable the tags a particular tags in uh, in uh, uh, as a cost allocation tag that starts coming up in the in the detailed billing file right so i'll i'll try to show you that how can you do that okay uh, what is the way to to enable that and how does it help now next bigger chunk is about storage so we clearly need to understand what are the different types of ebs volumes what is the difference between ebs s3 glacier and instant storage at what time we should be using which particular storage option and there is a video tutorial which i have already put which is around ebs s3 and efs uh, i'll be i'll be bringing up one more tutorial which would be on s3 and we'll go deeper into uh, into into various features of s3 okay uh, and we'll compare uh, the instant storage as well with the eps and all so there are a lot more tutorials which are going to come uh, about in monitoring we need to learn cloudwatch properly that uh, cloudwatch is a regional service many times people get confused right so uh, if you uh, like you will be able to see metrics of a particular instance which is in one region in that particular region only it's it's not a global service right so within cloudwatch we have got cloudwatch metrics cloudwatch events and cloudwatch logs so we'll try to cover all of those three things then as part of automation we have cloud formation now cloud formation is a is a great uh, service within uh, amazon and it helps you to do repeated deployments quickly and in an automated manner so we'll try to create an environment and um, then we will generate a template out of that we'll see how can we take it further and we will we can actually replicate it you know to another region or let's say another region or within the same region right how can we create a new environment using that so we'll have to understand different uh, 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 different sections of a cloud formation template and some of the uh, different attributes or policies right which come into picture while we are launching a stack from a template and then uh, we will also understand uh, how to set up cli and uh, use it we need not remember all the necessary all the commands because uh, we don't need to mug anything but we need to surely understand the understand the concepts uh, that uh, how to how to set up your environment and fire cli commands what is the usage of filter and query options within there right and how to what, what is meant by uh, like whenever we are executing some of the basic commands what is the how does the result come how, how to fix if something is not running etc so uh, that is all uh, there in the sysops thing so it is it is a very practical 
oriented uh, examination i would say though you still go ahead and choose only from the multi choice questions but you need to have practical uh, exposure without that uh, passing this exam would be really tough and that, that is what we would target to achieve okay in the in the next upcoming videos so i would request you to subscribe and remain updated and please look for upcoming videos thank you bye bye